Well, hello, welcome to the ABC Journeyman. I am the Custard Prophet, and we are back for our final game of the season in our second season with our ninth club, Coventry City. We've taken, we've gone all the way from the tenth tier of uh, football in England, and we are in the second tier. Oh, we're desperately trying to get promoted, and we were so close this year, but it has gone horribly wrong in the last few matches. Yes, folks. Look at this disastrous stuff. You saw the 1-0 win over Sunderland. And then following on from that, look at the disastrous stuff that has happened. We lost two matches on the trot. We don't think we've done that all season. Um, lost at away against Huddersfield, who are doing well. They're top of the league. Effilong with the goal there. We almost got a draw out of it. It wouldn't have been deserved, though. And then home against Barnsley. Scott D sent off early, uh, and they scored late on we were not out of that game even though we were um one nil down very comfortable three nil away winning against middlesbrough who are flying high this came out of nowhere leo uh, land and allen but since then we've drawn the last three games and really struggled to create chances we've gone back to how we started the season which is not ideal this for those who forget this is how we started the season yes that is five consecutive nil-nil draws in the league so yeah it's annoying but anyway we're playing Bristol City away for the final game of the season but it is not all out of our hands well it is out of our hands but there is a chance that we could get back into this look at what's going on above us Brentford are three points above us they are playing Birmingham who are relegated but Birmingham are the sort of side that could pick up a win. You just never know what you're getting with Birmingham. I mean, let's have a look. Who have they beaten? They've only they only tend to beat people at home. But let's so let's see how they do. You never quite know. We're playing Bristol City as a little more of a tough game there. But if we could sneak a victory, we don't normally win by much. Burn, Brentford lose. Goal difference would be really tight. I can see that they have won more games than us, so we would have to have a better goal difference, I think. So there would need to be a, a three-goal swing rather than just a two-goal swing. But it's not out of the question, is it? It really is not out of the question. We've got to do what we need to do first against um, against Bristol City, and then the rest, well, the rest will happen. If we end up in the playoffs, it will be the second season in the playoffs with Coventry, and you know then... We, we go again and we try and do our very best. I think we've beaten everybody in here other than perhaps Derby. Right, let's get into it. This is going to be a fun one, folks. We are going to start up top. Van Ryswick leading the line. Durant and Leo left and right. Unfortunately, Handley has been out. And it's been a rather um, interesting that the games that he's missed are the games that we've struggled in. But Land, Allen and Southern in the centre midfield. With Peters, Boyle, D, Hughes across the back line, McCall in goal. We've got some great players in this. We really have got some great players. But um, we've just struggled. When we've gone a little bit off off form, we don't have the players to bring in. The, the size of squad is not big enough. We just don't have the quality off the bench, really, um, in most positions. So let's see how we do. See if we can um, give... This um, Bristol City team, bit of a uh, a bit of a shock, a going over, shall we say? Here's Allen, nicely done. Early early um, highlight. Here's Hughes down the wing. Leo's picked it up, running very slowly. What's he doing? I mean, <laughs> that's interesting. Everyone's going super slow there, and we have scored an early goal. That that, my friends, is what we want to see. I mean, it was not the best, not the best defensive work there from Bristol City. And, you know, no one seemed to get anywhere near Leo and Van Rijswijk is just there to poke it home. Easy, easy times. So here is Hughes. I mean, could we could we go 2-0 up early? That would be that would be interesting. It was all of a sudden would um, maybe put the pressure on. The team below us, and you know, would they start to get a little bit concerned? Land, oh Durant, you could have made a name for yourself, man. <sighs> right here's Newton, not Isaac, presumably. Stout, 
That's a dreadful ball there. I mean, right. Okay. Maybe they get away with this one. They have, you know. They have. I've laughed at them. And that's the worst possible thing I can do. Oh, Alan's picked it up. This is so much better from us. Durant looks very undecisive on the ball there. They've got the ball back. Ball is through the center. And where is our defense? Oh, it's in the back of the net. Come on, offside. Oh, that is so frustrating. That is not the goal that I want to give away. We've been so strong at the back. To give away a goal like that, just a hopeful ball through the middle, over the top. Where was the pace? Where was Boyle's pace? Just didn't get the, the challenge in, and it's back to one all. Well, one thing I have noticed here is Brentford are actually 2-1 up in this game, so they are looking fairly good for the uh, good for the money, as it were. They're, you know, Birmingham, Birmingham have scored a goal, but it's not looking too much like they're going to get back in. Here's Land, and Boyle goes wide after his mistake. Oh, if only Durant had scored his goal. Well, it's half-time. It's not a bad performance, really. I thought we've... We've played pretty well. We've created some chances. And we've given away a really easy chance to, to Birmingham. All right, Hughes into into Leo. Middlesbrough look like they're down as, or losing as well. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter for them. But if they, if they were to win and we were to lose, they would go above us. Durant. Here's Peters. Southern. Oh, it's... I thought, I thought for a minute, I thought Alan was going to do it. Here's Hughes, 64 minutes gone. We're putting the pressure on. It's certainly not all over yet. We're still in there with a chance. Ball over the top. Oh, Durant. Come on, man. If you could finish. Oh, it would be so good. Here's Boyle now. Putting the pressure on them, aren't they? It's good to see. Good to see. Durant. Still, I think, a long way to go. There's Leo. <laughs> it's a lovely goal. It's a lovely goal. <laughs> does he Does he get that? I mean, it's 2-1. Is Leo going to get that goal? Is he going to be allowed that one? I mean, it was on target. It was off the defender, looped off him and in. So, I think Leo is getting the goal. Brentford 4-1 up. Oh, dear. There it is. There it is, folks. Well, Matheson and Flint are on. And, uh, yeah, I think the one thing with this side, up until not so long ago, that looked a bit foully to me. Yeah, they they not felt like they were a team who were going to concede late goals. We, we always look kind of comfortable, but... I don't know, it's really not quite feeling quite like that anymore which concerns me a little bit but hopefully going into the playoffs we can I think if we could get a victory here this would be so helpful going into the playoffs because we it just felt feels like we're not going to oh here we go and I'm I'm really concerned how he got through that as easily as he did oh, dear me I feel we deserve this and they just run through us twice through our defence. Hmm. Well, here's Van Rijswijk. A late goal would be nice. Come on. Nice header from D. Something like that. Finish it up 3-2. That's what the doctor ordered. Van Rijswijk. In he goes. It's cleared. Here's Leo now. Blast it. <laughs> I guess this is just the end of season highlight type of thing. Well, there we go. We lose, we draw 2-2. Two, two. It's not a bad result. It's not a great result either because I felt we absolutely deserved to get the victory. But two very, very uncharacteristic defensive errors um, gave us away there. I don't know what to think about that because I don't have a lot more at the back for, at the minute. Um, we've relied heavily on the players that we've got out there. Good to see Leo on the score sheet. Good to see him setting up a goal for Van Ryswick. It does give me hope. We gave a lot of chances, so we will be playing in the playoffs in the next episode. We're not going up, unfortunately, just yet. But I think if we've got a threat on the left side, and I think Cohen Durant, although he is a bit of a threat, he just 
you just don't know what's going to come from him. So we ended up on 80 points, which is a great points haul. But considering we were pretty much there about seven games ago, it's it feels feels disappointing. It really, really does. We'll be playing Luton next up in the next episode. And we'll see what we can do against Luton. Derby, I'm sorry, Joe, they slipped out of the playoffs in the, uh, in the last hurdle. So Luton have been in a really interesting run of form. Have we played them recently? Well, they won away at our place. That's that's a concern. And then they drew. So, yeah, they've beaten us once. We haven't beaten them yet. But it's been hardly any goals in it. It's going to be an interesting one. And I'm, I'm hoping that this team... I think we've got enough to beat Luton. Just at the minute, we're just not... We're not killing teams off, but I'm hoping Tim Handley coming back can make a difference. Let me know what you think. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. We're back for the playoffs in the next one. Should probably be promoted by now, but maybe we can do it the hard way. Uh, we'll go to Wembley, but first we've got to beat Luton. See you then. Bye-bye.